Alright, and welcome back to my playthrough of SpongeBob SquarePants and Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. That is a mouthful. Off to the jellyfish caves. Why there are security checkpoints everywhere, I'll never know. I'll never tell. But yeah, there are more spatulas, because we got two from jellyfish. Mermaid, Mermaid Man! Man. I have all your comets and toys and mail! Say what now? Hey, huh? Wh what? Oh, yeah, it's that That makes me kid. that makes me sad. No, what was I supposed to tell you? That makes me sad that we don't got that the original. Patrick is surrounded by robots and needs my help. Is he? Uh, oh, no. I think it had something to do with massaging my feet. I don't think that has Well, if massaging your feet will save Patrick, <sighs> then massage I must. He'll do anything for his favorite heroes. Help! They're making me hit myself. What the? Massaging your feet isn't working. <laughs> I think I'd better try a more direct approach. Massaging your back. By clipping my toenails? <laughs> ah, oh, Mermaid God, Man. Patrick! But no, it makes me sad that it's not the original voice actor. I mean, it wasn't. It's the. It's all the same voices as in the other game, which. Wait. Oh, is this a. When SpongeBob Patrick was Sandy jump onto a slide, they will zip down the slope at hydrodynamic speeds. Yes, it is a slide that we go on our tongue. In the other game, I believe it was like a bathtub or something, but no, in this, in this game, it is just your tongue. Oop. I meant to go that way, just... I mean, I don't think it'll matter, but... I don't think it'll matter one bit. That was a ton of but no, that... I and I, and I know sometime. we can't get, you know... Can't take it. I, I know we can't get the original Mermaid Man voice actor to do his thing, because he... He, he died many, many years ago. To help, you need to get to Patrick to help him, but he is unreachable. Maybe these switches will create a way. The robots are guiding them heavy. You have to battle through? Yes, I have to battle through, but no, I, I love the original Mermaid Man guy, because he is he was amazing. And I, I told this I told this story to Eve, but back in uh, back in college though we were talking about it like the day either the day it happened or the day after it happened we were I forget the entire conversation but part of it was someone someone said at least he had a good life and I was ow okay I will you just met the ow, stupid hammers okay oh yeah destroy the stupid thing I feel like a new spot but no like like I was saying though someone someone said but at least he had a good life and my response was filled with evil because <laughs> why would die? that is why mermaid man is honestly my favorite yeah, character like in the entire breeze. show just because of how old and senile and crazy he is I love, I love mermaid man he is the be he is the best character you're not gonna you're not gonna convince me otherwise. He's the best character. And I like Gary just because all he does is just meow. Meow. Just a simple cat, which cause, you know, that makes sense. Cause snails are cats, worms are dogs, mass hysteria. Oh, but I made the path to Patrick, meaning we will probably get to play as him. I mean it makes sense, although we don't get to switch off. You know, right away. Hey, SpongeBob! Whew. Thank goodness you're safe, Patrick. Uh, hey there, SpongeBob. Of course, SpongeBob. Why wouldn't I be? Aren't you just hitting yourself? Well, the robots and the. Oh, yeah, I found this for you. I don't know what it is, but it looks important. Thank you. Thanks, Patrick. I tell you what, all that running around has left me pooped. Why don't you continue on for a bit? Why wouldn't okay. I? Hey, now we're. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. <laughs> oh, you such a lovable goof. Uh, this is a throw fruit. Patrick can pick up the throw fruit and throw them. Press circle to pick up a nearby throw fruit and then press again to throw it. Throw fruit can push buttons, destroy tiki's, and damage robots. I use it quickly because a throw fruit wilts after a few seconds. Yeah, it's it's throw fruit. It's it's a watermelon. See? And then we do that, and it's smashing. So bright. 
Patrick can also pick up and throw tikis, but only tikis that don't have other tikis stacked on top of them. Yeah, so more use. Oh, wait, that's not really partially useless because then I can do this. I can throw tikis at floating tikis that I couldn't otherwise get. And I love how it has auto lock on feature. That is helpful. Oh, yeah, this is a bus stop. You may switch between playing SpongeBob or playing Patrick at the bus stop. Because that makes sense. Honestly, I love the character select screen for nothing else other than being absurdly stupid. Patrick can throw fruit up steps, then climb the steps, pick up the fruit, and throw it again. But he better hurry before it wins. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I think that's kind of... I can't... It's like I can't jump while carrying it, so... Which is stupid. If I have to do that, then yeah, it's gonna wilt away. And then this. This. This is a spe special Patrick Tita Tata that only Patrick can use. Have Patrick pick up a throw fruit, stand on the pink starfish side, then throw the fruit at the target side. Patrick will be flung across to the other side of the lake. Yeah, so I have to pick, pick up the fruit, get on the teeter totter, hit the button, and we Splat. And we make it to the other side of Jellyfish Fields. By the way, I like how it said caves. It's like, I don't feel like I'm in a cave. This isn't... The yeah, this isn't really... Well, I guess the caves are maybe coming up. I don't... This is a Thunder Tiki. When Patrick touches it, it will begin to storm. And after a few seconds, will it go boom? Don't be near it when it goes boom. Yeah, I could have already told you that. I know this is definitely a game meant for kids and whatnot, but come on, they give you such stupid advice. Ah! And that was completely useless. That was completely useless to me. Like, why, why is that a thing? I guess to put you back over there in case you wanted to go back over there for whatever reason. Oh, and I should have thrown them out. Oh, well. Hey, you barnacle oh, head! Hi. Watch Lincoln. where you're going! The rock is talking to me. Oh, mighty rock! <laughs> I am at your command! You're an idiot, Patrick. Down here, you big pink lummox! Oh, hi there, Mr. Plankton. <sighs> Are you going to vaporize me today? <laughs> <laughs> but it's not Tuesday, Patrick. So very tempting. Unfortunately, I found myself yeah, in the undesirable Yeah, Plankton kind of need, he needs us to help to get the robots you. back under control to be able I to take over the world. I was in the undesirable position yesterday, and now my neck hurts. You are an idiot, Patrick. Eat my words, my large future minion. Go into Jellyfish Cave. Follow the instructions on the side And do things. See. At the end of the caves, you'll still be a big pink idiot, but you'll know enough to help defeat the robots and get me back into the chum bucket. Well, then will yeah, you vaporize me? Oh, my God. I might spare your life so I can force you to work in my sweatshop making low-quality designs. Somehow he's going to be wallets. happy about this. Oh, thank you. God. You're an... Patrick is a big pink idiot. Butt slam. If you jump up in the air and press circle, Patrick will slam down to the ground, damaging tikis or pressing buttons below him. Yeah, it's the same as Spongebob. It's the exact same thing. We heard the spiel before, unless you have a new move to teach me, like, you know, like picking... Ooh, scary dark cave. Uh... Oh. Whoop. I did not realize that was a ledge. Also, yeah, why is this... Why and how? The Spongebob, the food, the water, how the... How's there a fire? Don't question it. Don't question the lack of logic. Okay, so I'm gonna need this because I can do that. And I mean, these things grow back instantaneously, anyways, so. And we can get a lot of coral bits. But yeah, we have to hit the, hit the button. Ta da! Remember, Patrick can throw a fruit, then pick it up and throw it again before it wills. Yes, I'm aware. I, I had a feeling the sign would tell me something that I didn't really need to know. 
There we go. Sparkly thingy. And somehow he's wearing all this underwear too, even though it's square underwear. Let's go figure. And why are there spikes in jellyfish caves? Do you think this you think this wouldn't be dangerous for the tourists? Oh yeah, and Patrick can't. Ouch. Think Good thing that underwear, underwear was there. Right. That was... Ooh, why are there giant... And these sink, don't... No, they don't. That is a lucky break. That is definitely a lucky break that they do not sink. Yeah, why are there spikes? That makes... really makes no sense. Too many spikes. Too many spikes. Ow! Too much dangerous stuff in jellyfish caves. Because, you know, the jellyfish aren't enough. No, we, have, a no, we have to make this worse. Ooh, you know, like that. Everyone. Super monster combo! Um, what's it say? The weight of the fruit will also activate pressure plates. You gotta carry a lot of stuff around. Whoops. Did not mean to do that. What I meant to do was take this. Yeah, maybe I should just take my... Really? That makes no sense. Okay, so I need to put this on the plate. And then it opens. And more signs. Hooray. But you can also jump up on a throw fruit to get to higher places. You may stack throw fruit as well as as well by throwing a fruit on top of another throw fruit. This will allow Patrick to get to even higher places. Yes, we stack the fruit. And if we take this and then stack it on top of that, then oh and now, basically, they're doing everything possible. It's like you jump on one, then you stack them, then you move, then you stack them. Whoops. I guess they haven't been both opened up. I honestly have no idea. I can jump, kind of, that. Although it is re still really hard to control Ouch. this. That's much ah! Ow. Ow. Ouch. Don't think yeah, that went well. Fits quite right. <laughs> Why is SpongeBob wearing Patrick's under? Ooh, freezy fruit. I can do this, right? This is a freezy fruit. Patrick can pick up the freezy fruit and throw it. Freezy fruit will temporarily freeze the ghoul. Patrick can slide on frozen ghoul until it thaws. Yeah, I believe. Okay, going that way is the way out of this cave. So that means. I need to throw the fruity fruit on Gula Gun. Why is there goo? Yeah, it's it's not water, it's goo, because we're already underwater. There's a sock. Have you been lonely out there all alone? <laughs> Has the sock been lonely out here? I don't know. But better get back to dry land though. That I think I got everything that was out there. Uh what's this? Patrick belly flops near robots, he can damage or stun them. Small robots will simply be defeated by Patrick's belly flop. Larger robots will be stunned for a short period of time. That is really helpful. Yeah, that is really helpful. You know what else is helpful? Something like that. Why is a whistle? No. The robots go boom! destroying them like that gives me... Hey, get a boatload of, uh... No thanks, but... So Patrick may even pick up robots he has done and throw them into other robots. Oh, that's helpful. You mean like this? <laughs> and hit the button. Ah, get out of here. Yeah, I would think I'd be able to make that jump. I will get that in a minute. Because, yeah, I see I see it. It's right there. It's a golden spatula. I think we're making really good progress on them here. I think we have, what, like half of them? Yeah. Spelunking. Patrick's Dilemma. Cow Cowabunga, dude. Top of the hill. 
We still have to get those, but yeah, we, we still have a lot of socks to go, too. Oh, that's gonna be the fun part, is trying to collect all this stuff, but yeah, I think it looks like... It looks like I'm done with jellyfish caves, which means to a jellyfish lakes. I believe this will be the last video in jellyfish fields, too, unless it takes me too much time, and then I'll just have to do the boss thing on its own. Because he's not in the next area, but he's in his own special unique boss area thingy. But, you know, we'll figure that out as we go. I'm Honestly, I feel like I'm making... <laughs> I look away for a minute and Patrick just gives me a dumb look. <laughs> oh, I'm easily amused. But, no, I... We're making really good progress. God! <laughs> Stop it! You must look away! <laughs> Because I'm trying to bring this to a close, and it keeps making me laugh. <laughs> okay, but like I was saying, though, <sighs> gonna bring this one to a close here. So, in the meantime, go check out what our friends are up to, and until next time, as always, thanks for watching.